Hello and welcome to Free Excel tutorial videos. For today's tutorial, I'm going to show you how you can calculate a future date in Excel um, 2007 and um, say that you have a starting date and let's use the starting date um, um, as um, August the 3rd, 20, 2007. Okay, August the 3rd, 2000. I'm sorry, August the 3rd, 2008. Okay. And what we want to achieve is what will the date be 11 months later, okay? So, uh, this is, uh, let's go to another worksheet. So, I have here August 3rd, 2008, and the date is um, uh, August 3rd, and this one is August 1st. Okay, I'm going to change this later. So, uh, let's come back over to this worksheet. So when it comes to dates, there are a few, a lot of, quite a few of functions in Excel that works with dates. Okay, there is a date function, there is the um, today function, the year function, the month function, the day function, and of course we can use auto fill options to fill in dates as well. Okay, so let's begin our task. Now, our task is to. Um, To, to calculate what will the date be when um, uh, from the starting date what will our date be when it comes to um, 11 months later okay so okay now I've done the date so here is the 3rd of August 2008 and here is another different format in the date um, and on the or oh, in fact it's a 3rd of um, 3rd of 8th of March okay so let me just change this okay now it's 3rd of August and control plus and control C to paste the date and change the date to long date okay so now it's August August the 3rd okay so I here I have here 1 2 3 4 5 6 7 8 9 10 all up to 24 this is uh, one month later two months later three months later and I will have the display date over here okay so first let's use the autofill function okay the autofill option so instead of autofill with the left mouse button instead I'm going to use the right mouse button okay you will see why so select the cell and let's use the right go to the bottom left of the cell until you see this crosshair uh, on your mouse cursor right click the mouse and move down all the way to fill up the cells and once you release you will have this option over here you can copy the cells okay you can fill the series you can fill the formatting but what I want here is to fill the dates okay and in this case we have few days few weekdays few years we want to fill by months okay so let's click OK so now um, as uh, we have here uh, the date Okay, so one month later is going to be uh, 3rd of September. Okay, and 11 months later is going to be it's going to be 3rd of July 2009. Okay, okay, so this is the date 11 months later uh, after our starting date of 3rd August. So here I have the date in a different format, and we can do the same. Let's use autofill come down here select fill months okay so now we have the dates in long format okay it's very long see and 11 months later it's going to be Friday 3rd of July 2009 okay so that's let me delete this column so that is how you can um, calculate a future date by using autofill option okay so it works well 
but what if we want to use a function okay uh, so in this cell over here I have made a reference to the cell over here as you can see B4 and this is C4 okay and below here I have a formula a date formula and um, it's it has it is going to give me uh, the next date next month okay date one month one month later than this date over here okay so let's let's do this from scratch okay so now you can see the formula over here I have used the year function the month function as well as the day function inside the date function so let's do this from scratch the equals date tab to function autocomplete and I'm going to use the function argument dialog box press ctrl A so here I'm going to use year function like this the month function plus one okay and the day function okay and all this all the reference cell is this cell over here e4 and you can see uh, on the right hand here is the preview uh, of our result which is uh, one month later so if we click ok we will get the result and now when we autofill we will get the same result okay after 11 months from our starting date of 3rd of August 2008 11 months later the date will be 3rd of um, July 2009 okay so let's um, copy the, fo the, the formula over here let's um, let's drag this formula over here okay and let's change the format use brush okay and let's do the same let's drag it down so now um, from our starting date of 3rd August 11 months later it will be Friday 3rd of July 2009 Okay, so that is how you can calculate a future date in Excel, either by using an autofill option or by using a function. Okay, so that's it for this tutorial. I will see you in the next tutorial.